This is Titan, a moon surpassing the size of the planet Mercury, gracefully orbiting the ringed world Saturn. It's a celestial body that has captivated the minds of scientists for decades. Beneath its thick cloud cover, expansive seas, lakes, and rivers have been unveiled, coursing over portions of its icy terrain. Titan stands as the sole location in the solar system, apart from Earth, where liquid flows on the surface. So akin to our home planet, could Titan's aqueous bodies host life? And if so, what form might it take? You're tuned into Space Facts. If you're enjoying the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Titan remains a realm of profound mystery. Despite four distinct spacecraft flybys, the Moon continues to guard its secrets. Questions persist. What's the origin of its dense atmosphere? How did its bodies of liquid come to be? And is there potential for life to thrive? The presence of substantial liquid reservoirs on Titan was conjectured since the Voyager probe's passage in the early 1980s. However, it wasn't until the Cassini spacecraft's visit in 2006 that these suspicions were substantiated. Instead of being composed of water like Earth's oceans, it was revealed that the lakes and seas on Titan consist of liquid methane and ethane. These bodies of liquid, showcased in striking radar imagery, are typically situated in Titan's polar regions and can reach considerable sizes, with some rivaling North America's Great Lakes. Fueled by rivers sculpting through Titan's icy terrain, these liquid expanses boast remarkable depths, with certain areas plunging over 200 meters deep. While their formation remains enigmatic, Titan's seas and lakes are believed to have originated from the decomposition of methane and nitrogen in its atmosphere. Over time, these compounds condense into clouds, precipitating back to the surface as rain or potentially snow. On Earth, methane replenishment in the atmosphere is primarily attributed to biological processes. It serves as a metabolic byproduct for many organisms, stemming from sources as fundamental as peat bogs, rice fields, and the digestive processes of animals such as cows or sheep. Given this parallel, could the presence of methane on Titan signify the presence of life? Indeed, if life exists on Titan, it would likely be unlike anything found on Earth. The absence of liquid water means that life as we currently understand it, which depends on water, would be unable to thrive on its surface. Titan's extreme cold, with temperatures plummeting to around minus 179 degrees Celsius, minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, creates harsh and inhospitable conditions for familiar organisms. However, this doesn't rule out the possibility of life adapting to Titan's environment. Some microorganisms on Earth have demonstrated the ability to consume and survive in hydrocarbons, similar to the composition of Titan's lakes, primarily consisting of liquid methane and ethane. Any potential life inhabiting these lakes would need to be highly adapted to an environment vastly different from Earth's. Scientists speculate that Titan's life forms could operate on an entirely different biochemical basis. Instead of water as a solvent, these organisms might utilize hydrocarbons like methane and ethane. Such a scenario would necessitate a distinct cell structure for survival, challenging our conventional understanding of life's biochemical foundations. Indeed, if we were to drop any Earth organism into one of Titan's lakes, it wouldn't survive for long. Even the most resilient single-celled organisms on our planet rely on membranes composed of lipids, which form a barrier due to their interaction with water molecules. However, Titan's lakes lack water for these molecules to interact with, and the extreme cold would freeze any Earth life solid, rendering it unable to function. Indeed, another molecule like acrylonitrile could potentially fulfill similar roles and survive in Titan's harsh conditions. 
Remarkably, scientists have detected direct evidence of acrylonitrile molecules on Titan, present in sufficient quantities to theoretically sustain millions of single-celled organisms. This raises the intriguing possibility that microorganisms could serve as the foundation for a complex ecosystem on this peculiar moon, potentially with larger organisms feeding on them, thus forming a hierarchical structure. However, despite the excitement surrounding these hypotheses, we currently lack sufficient information to definitively ascertain the nature of any potential life on Titan. The Huygens probe, launched in 2005, remains the only spacecraft to have landed on Titan's surface. Its historic descent into Titan's atmosphere marked the first successful landing on a moon in the outer solar system, providing valuable insights but leaving many questions unanswered. The Huygens probe captured mesmerizing images as it descended and landed on Titan's surface, transmitting data for about 90 minutes post-landing. One striking surface image reveals what appears to be a desiccated, relatively flat plain, strewn with pebbles, possibly indicating a landscape once inundated by flowing liquid methane. However, there's no evidence of life. While the notion of exotic life forms thriving on Titan is captivating, the methane in its atmosphere likely stems from outgassing rather than biological activity. During Titan's formation, the surface was likely too warm for volatile compounds like methane and nitrogen to persist, leading them to be sequestered within the Moon's interior. As Titan cooled over time, these compounds escaped through crustal fissures, amalgamating into the diverse gas mixture comprising its thick atmosphere today. So, if the copious methane in Titan's atmosphere arises from geological processes rather than biological sources, does this imply the Moon is sterile? Possibly not. While Titan, like much of the solar system, appears inhospitable to life as we know it, the presence of complex organic molecules and potentially habitable environments, such as its subsurface ocean, leave open the tantalizing possibility that life albeit unconventional, might yet exist in its enigmatic realm. Observations and data collected by the Cassini spacecraft and the Huygens probe suggest the intriguing possibility of a subsurface ocean of liquid water beneath Titan's icy crust. If indeed there exists a vast body of water beneath Titan's surface, it could provide a potential habitat for life adapted to the unique conditions of this moon's environment. Water, being a fundamental requirement for life as we understand it, opens the door to the possibility of life forms residing within Titan's subsurface ocean. However, similar to the methane lakes above, the conditions within this subsurface ocean would differ significantly from those on Earth. The ocean would likely be frigid and contain high concentrations of salts and dissolved substances, potentially impacting the viability of any organisms. Thus, Titan presents the intriguing possibility of harboring environments conducive to both familiar and unfamiliar forms of life. Despite the absence of concrete evidence of life on Titan thus far, its complex chemistry and unique environments ensure it remains a focal point for ongoing exploration. Among the most anticipated future missions is NASA's Dragonfly mission, slated to launch in 2027. Dragonfly will deploy a rotorcraft lander to investigate the surface of this enigmatic moon, promising to unveil new insights into Titan's mysteries. The mission is expected to reach Titan in 2034, sparking excitement for the discoveries that lie ahead. The Dragonfly mission will utilize a rotorcraft lander, akin to the successful Ingenuity craft that has completed over 50 flights on Mars. Dragonfly's itinerary includes exploration of various surface features on Titan, such as dunes, craters, and the equatorial region, where it will investigate the potential for liquid water and the chemical conditions conducive to life.
As humanity continues to push the boundaries of exploration into the outer reaches of our solar system, Titan stands out as a captivating destination with the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. With its methane lakes and seas, as well as its clandestine subsurface ocean, this mysterious moon presents a world unlike any other. Could we someday uncover evidence of life on this distant, veiled moon, affirming that we are not alone in the cosmos? Only time will reveal the answer. I hope you found this video enjoyable. If so, please tap the like button, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more content. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.